The role of nuclear energy and its benefits took centre stage in Brussels. World leaders confirmed their commitment to expand the use of nuclear power, continuing a clear trend. This first nuclear energy summit brings together over 300 CEOs, entrepreneurs, scientists and civil society figures alongside 37 political leaders. Extending the safe operation of today's nuclear fleet is one of the cheapest ways to secure clean power at scale. So it can help pave a cost-effective path to net zero. The world's first ever nuclear energy summit was held, chaired jointly by the IAEA and Belgium. Outside the meeting, young activists had traveled to Brussels to discuss nuclear topics with the Prime Minister and the Director General. And across the city, they were plastering their commitment to nuclear for all to see. Inside, world leaders shared how nuclear power is addressing some of their most urgent problems, from energy security to climate change and more. Our challenge is to deliver on climate change and reduce our CO2 emissions, is to improve our sovereignty by securing our energy, and it's to improve our competitiveness in order to create jobs at the same time. We see nuclear energy as vital to tackling the climate crisis and building a clean, resilient, and reliable energy economy, both in the United States and around the world. For a long time, many of us had reservations. But times have changed. Safety technology has evolved. And, of course, our views on the urgency of a fossil-free future have changed dramatically in recent decades. It is true that for the transition to succeed, we need every carbon-free energy source we can get. The summit constitutes a turning point concerning the future of civil nuclear energy. The Akkuyu nuclear power plant is our flagship project. Once fully operational, it will meet 10% of our electricity demand. Our objective is to raise this level by building additional conventional plants as well as small modular reactors. At the top of the agenda was the issue of investment, opening up finance to build new reactors alongside other sources of clean energy. Innovation to drive forward SMR development and making the most of existing plants were also key topics. This is a fight where we have to use all the available, dispatchable, CO2-free energy sources for the common challenge, which is to decarbonize our energy matrices as soon as we can. And now we need to see what is needed so that this is done in the right way. And this is why the IEA is part of the effort. This is why we are here.